Yo, what up, man? It's your boy Chris. I'm by checking back in back with another blog. Yo, I gotta talk about this Lux situation, man. You know, it's Lux talking crazy in interviews. Lux talking crazy in interviews, bro. And he not even, look, I'm trying, I like Easy the Block Captain. I like Jada Nightwing. All right, we, I like, focus, focus. You always lose focus when people talk about you versus B Dot. Why do you lose focus? What's going on? First of all, B Dot not a new nigga. And then, and then, second of all, this But y'all see what he just did, right? Y'all see what he just did. That's all I'm saying. What? I, you listen, I'm gonna straight up, no chaser. If I was, if I was interested, bro, I would fuck B dot up. Like, it, what? What B dot? Like, what could he do? Not for real. He can rap. He can rap. But the problem is not even at the problem. I'm not even gonna say it's a problem because I, I I'm, a, I'm gonna be the nigga and teach a nigga. Like, you know, what I'm saying after he see it, you know, he, he can be like, oh, okay, that's that's the other thing you gotta add to it. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, there's a degree of substance. That that's that that niggas lack. That sometimes it just ain't it, it, it ain't it ain't in wordplay. Shout out Nunu Nails. Probably ain't gonna hear that hear me ever say that again. But shout out Nunu Nails, bro. I'm yo, you are real. Let me talk to you for a minute, man. Let me talk. You wake the fuck up. Let me talk to you. Hold on, I didn't knock the camera off and everything. You are real. I'm not mad if you want to do URL media with nails. If nails gonna be able to pull this out of out of Lux. And be able to get in her bag with loaded Lux. She was challenging Lux. She was testing Lux. That's what the hell we need in media. If Nunu can do that, I'm not even mad at you giving Nunu a shot at, at URL media. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Because she was really getting at Lux. And she had Lux turn up better than I seen anybody doing an interview, bro. He didn't interview Uncle Ra. 15 minutes of fame. Hell, I didn't even interview Lux before. I didn't even get Lux to turn up like that. Nunu done got Lux to turn up, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not mad if she can do that to people. I wouldn't mind her interviewing some people for URL media. You might want to think about that. Let me adjust this camera, man. <clears throat> but anyway, man. Loaded Lux talking crazy, bro. Loaded Lux talking super crazy, man. DNA was in his bag. He upset about it. DNA said that he'll kill Lux in a battle. I don't know about all that DNA. What I do know is B-Dot might actually be able to beat Lux, bro. I ain't gonna even hold you, bro. I really think B Dot can beat Lux, bro. I really feel that way. Let me let's really look at Lux last few battles. Before I got locked up, he had just battled. No, he was about to battle Arsenal. I remember doing a prediction blog on that. I think I was killing Arsenal. saying ain't no way Ars is gonna beat Lux. The nigga fucked around and beat Lux, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what Lux I was watching when I was looking at that battle. That was not a good Lux. This is a guy from Arsenal was from Lions Den. Arsenal was under Lux. Lux should have been able to have so many angles for Arsenal that there's no way he should have been able to lose that battle. And Arsenal wasn't even super crazy. It wasn't like one of the best Arsenals. You know what I'm saying? One of the best Arsenals I've seen was when he battled Shadi Horror. That was a like very, very good Arsenal. Arsenal wasn't as that good in the Lux battle but still beat Lux. You know what I'm saying? Still beat Lux anyway. Then you move to the verb battle. He got a debatable with verb, bro. This is a verb that I say, you know, the moon, the stars, the oceans, the, the hemispheres, the, 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 you know, Pluto and Saturn and all this. This is that verb, the poetry verb. He got a debatable with the poetry verb. Somebody that just lost clearly to Tay Rock. Lost clearly to Tay Rock. Somebody that just lost to Calico. I got Verb losing to DNA, Calico, Rock. The Geechee battle was close. The Geechee battle was close. He could have beat Geechee. Ge I got him losing the other ones, bro. I got him losing to DNA, Tay Rock, and Calico. I got him losing them three battles. He got a debatable with the uh, the poetry A Verb, bro. He didn't even have a third round for Verb, bro. Let's just keep it a buck. He didn't have a third round for Verb. Verb. Verb won the only round that's clear in that battle. We got we got to call it what it is, bro. Lux versus Verb is very close rounds one and rounds two. I know it took Verb a little bit of time to heat up in the first round, but Lux went super crazy in that first. You know what I'm saying? Verb got in his bag after a little bit of time. That round is debatable. The second round, which is Lux's best round to me, also in my opinion, was Ver's best round. Another debatable round. Very, very close round as well. Very close. That's why people can say, oh, I think Ver won. A lot of people got Ver winning that battle. A lot of people got Lux winning that battle. Ver, when I, bro, when I saw Ver battle Mook and, and Lux, 
I was a little disappointed in Verb because I didn't really feel like it was good Verbs. But Verb can really sit back and say, yo, I arguably beat Lux and Mook. But when I look at Verb's performances, I'm just like, they ain't even that crazy to me, bruh. The problem is, so that just lets you know, Lux was not that great in the Verb battle. Even if you got him winning. It, it was, to me, the Calico battle with Lux is a very good Lux, bruh. But you gotta, we gotta keep it real, bro. He rematched Mook and lost. He had a great battle versus Hollow. Rematched Mook and lost at a whatever it was with the Joe Button shit. Rematched Mook and lost. And then you got these battles right here, man. The Arsenal battle, the Verb battle. Now we can look at the Surf battle. The Surf battle, another. It's a reason they're interviews by saying, "Is this a beatable Lux, bro? You didn't." Nobody was interviewing Lux, asking was his rounds beatable after he battled Hollow, because niggas knew that it was a good Lux. In this particular battle, there's been a lot of people saying if Surf would have just got his rounds off clearly, he probably would have beat Lux. I had a debatable with Lux, something like that. I do feel like Surf left the door wide open, man. You go back and listen to them rounds with Surf rapping where he's not choking, Surf ain't super crazy, but Surf is a little, little in his bag, bro. A little in his bag. Where you looking at, damn, I think he going to win this round. Then boom, he choked and it's over with. Lux wasn't that crazy in that battle either. Nunu flat out told him, I don't remember nothing you said in that battle. I got to keep a, a buck with you. I watched a lot of battle rap, bro. I can't think of one thing Lux said in a Surf battle, right? Right off the top. Any other Surf, any other Lux battle in battle rap. Except the Arsenal. But any other Lux battle, I can tell you stuff Lux said. Just off rip, going back to Clips, going back to Mook, going back to to uh, Hollow, going back to Cali. I can I can tell you something I remember in the battle. The Surf battle, I know I only watched it twice, but I can't remember nothing from Lux in that battle. Lux is beatable, bruh. He's beatable. Lux and B-Dot? I don't, I don't know if that's something Lux wants to do. Hmm. Because we're dealing with an individual that possesses the same skill as you, but gets to the point faster. He is beatable. He ain't giving you these jaw-dropping performances. Like, when I just saw Mook battle Rock, our, man, bro, I have watched Mook versus Rock about 10 times, bro. That's just how much I like that battle, bro. That's just how much Mook's performance and Rock's performance intrigued me enough to watch it so much. Watching what Mook say, watching Rock's reaction, watching Rock try to fight back, watching like that shit is interesting to me, bro. But the the Lux and Surf, nah, I watched that shit twice, and that's including Lux rounds. Like I ain't going back just to watch Lux. I don't not like that battle that much on really either side. So you know this this whole notion that Lux is running around, bro. The more you call people out, the more of an aura they they get. So many people calling Lux out. It's so many people calling Lux out. Niggas think he better than Mook. I got Mook better than Lux. But you got JC calling him out. You got Chilla calling him out. You got DNA calling him out. You got um, B-Dot calling him out. Daylight calling him out. I'm seeing battles where Lux can definitely lose, bruh. And B-Dot normally don't be choking and normally don't beat himself. So Lux going to have to go in there and take this victory. Take this victory. It ain't going to be given to him. He's going to go in here and take this victory. So in my opinion... I don't know who I got winning this battle if I had to do a prediction blog off top. But this notion that B-Dot can't win and can't win clearly, I think is completely false, bro. B-Dot definitely can win this battle. Let me know what you think, man. Holla at your boy.